Hey y'all, it's me, Niecy Lynn. I hope you're having a happy Friday. It's uh, pretty early on July 10th. This is Floss Tube 31. And if you are new here, this is a channel about uh, cross stitch needlework, a little bit of sewing and things like that. We uh, just talk about what's going on and other things. So if you're returning, thanks for coming back to visit with me. And if not, um, hang around a while. Um, we will jump right in with questions because uh, we have we have quite a bit. So um, Sandy wants to see the patterns in the Jane Greenoff book. I will do that at the end when I do Wild Hedgerow Sampler. So uh, channel me not to forget. I never thought about this, but Kathy said that her grandson has nut allergies. And so she can't use walnut shells and anything. You know, you never think about how far reaching that is until somebody you love has it. We have been very fortunate. None of the kids, grandkids, uh, sister, I never had that to deal with. So that is horrifying. Um, Mandy threads uh, are pulling through unevenly. She's trying to pull her. I'm wondering if your needle's too small. Your needle makes a way through your fabric for your threads. If your needle's too small, your threads, your threads need to get like frayed up when they're trying to go through. So try a little bit bigger needle or make sure, I'm not sure what you're stitching on. Um, I've had some Ada before, especially out of a kit that's really crappy and it's, it'll, it's gnarly and it'll grab at the thread when it tries to go through. So um, if any of y'all are having that kind of problem, try going up one size of the needle, get the next bigger needle, see if that helps and check your fabric and be sure. And also be sure that you're using good thread. If you're using um, I'm sorry for if you make that artiste or whatever that is thread. If you're using that off-brand thread, it's not, it hangs up, it, it knots up, and I've just never had good luck with it, so for what it's worth. Um, let's see, well, my writing's so terrible. Oh, Jean says she'll be my personal shopper if I go to jail, which is always a possibility, so I appreciate that, because that may be needed. And uh, Ocean Girl is making watermelon margaritas, so I'll need some of those delivered to the jail, please. So if y'all two could hook up and keep me fixed up while I'm in jail because I have had tons of margaritas and I love margaritas and I usually use the um, one, two, three margarita recipe, but I've never had a watermelon margarita and that sounds real good. Lord says, uh, oh, she's in Miami-Dade County and she needs a local needle workshop. So any of y'all around Miami-Dade that know of a good needle workshop, um, holler, because she's looking to find an LNS for herself. And last week at the end, when I was talking about Old Glory, stitching Old Glory, I said Danita and I meant Cheryl. Cheryl sent me the silks and the blue silks and the um, Old Glory pattern, she sent me. And not Danita, and I said it backwards. I'm world's worst about just blathering on and saying the wrong thing. I feel like it's really dark in here today. Yike. Um, oh, Blind, you want to see my eyebrow pencil? Because y'all know I'm, my hair is going white and sore on my eyebrows. And you know, with eyes like this, you can't afford not to have no eyebrows. You'll be looking like the gecko, the gecko gecko. It's this. It's just Elf. And it, I've had it a long time. It says eyebrow, Elf brow pencil. Hannah Coe sent it to me, my, um, my good Hannah. She keeps me hooked up in makeup and things because I would not know what to buy if not. And it's just the elf brow pencil and it has a little, like a little color on one end and then a little brushy on the other end and you mark it up and brush it through. And I love this thing. And you know if I can do it, anybody can, heaven knows. I got no makeup skills. Um, oh, and Lynn worked in a bird rehab. That would be so fun, except I'd be really sad when they were hurting stuff. But she worked in a bird rehab and her robins call, when she calls them to breakfast in the morning, her robins will come down. They're so used to her and know her and trust her. Oh, I forgot to put lip gloss on. Sorry, y'all. My lips are all matte looking. Ooh, I don't like it too over that. Um, oh, and Deborah said her dad worked at the Cranston Prince work, Print Works for 60 years. Y'all, like I said, I came across another piece of fabric that I was like, this is such a good piece of fabric. Cranston Print Works, right across the end. Go figure. Um, Faye is just like me. She can't figure out how to comment when she's watching on the TV. You have to remember to go back and do it on your phone. I am horrible about it, remembering to do it. Because when I'm watching on my TV, 
I don't know how, so if any of y'all know how to leave it, comment on your TV, um, shoot me that intel because there's a lot of us looking for that. Diane, we were talking, you know, last week we looked at my patio umbrella and I kind of changed our look this way because uh, James Williams is going into work late. And so um, he can go this way and around and we won't have to watch him if he goes to this bathroom. He goes to his bathroom. We won't have to see him uh, going across the living room and making racket and stomping around stuff. So I just twisted us a little bit so we're looking out the back. <clears throat> but um, we saw my umbrella all crinkled up last week and she said that the wind she had been eating with a friend and the wind jerked the patio umbrella up out of the you know you're eating outside right now if you're getting to eat anywhere and it jerked it up and hit her in the eye and gave her a black eye yeah that's I was not here to get beat up by my umbrella so that is horrible Diane and I hope you got a watermelon margarita for that pain and suffering and Lori loved the dawn chorus so much which it was such a beautiful, that long dog sampler, uh, long dawn chorus pattern is so pretty. And so she's ordered it too. Uh, I can't wait to start that thing. Um, and Char said she admits, and several of y'all have said that y'all grab y'all's husband's crazy flag sometimes too. I wish I didn't, but I do. I do. Sometimes I just cannot let him go on his own little parade with it. And when I do, ooh, bad times. Bad, bad times. Uh, Nancy was laughing about my split volcano icon. I don't know what else you call that. That is, um, I'm sure it has a name, <laughs> but I don't know what it is. I'm notorious around here for it. Um, like when James Williams, when we were first married and he would want me to hand him something, he would be saying, hand me this, hand me that, hand me this, hand me Kleins, hand me this. And he would want me to hand him, and I believe the correct name is Open Ended Wrench. But I would tell him, you need to call that an OU because it has an O on the one end and a U on the other end. If you would call that an OU, everybody in the world know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So I have my theories about what things are named and I think I should get to name things because then everybody would know what everybody was talking about. So split volcano icon, it works. <laughs> um, AJ, oh, AJ is looking for the June and July wordplay by Brenda Gervais. If any of y'all have LNSs that you've seen them in, if any of you have them that want to part with them, know of any shops that have them, online shops or anything, she only needs June and July to get her um, set all stitched up and finished. So holler so AJ can get her little um, set all finished out and get it all done. Uh, Lorraine is like, oh, she wanted to know about my primitive toolbox right here. It is about the size of it. She's gonna try to have, she has somebody in her town make one. It's 21 inches long, 15 inches high, and nine inches wide when I measured it. So 21 long, 15 high, and nine wide. And I have loved that stinging thing since we got it. <clears throat> it is fabulous. And I, I, think, I think my little flags have fallen over in there. The girls help arrange and decorate those and um, Janny commented that she was happy that I knew how to say her name, and that people say it wrong all the time. And as unusual as the name Janny is, Evergreen Stitcher is also named Janny. So we, they found out they have two name sisters in there. So there's two Jannies that watch. But I do try to say things the right way. My sister, um, I told y'all before, she's just a small town yogi on Instagram. But her name, my parents' name, her, her Shauna. Shauna is her name. But they spelt it S-H-A-E-N-A. -E so all our lives, she has been Shayna, Shayna. Sh I mean, people just butcher it all to pieces because it's spelled strangely. So I do try to be sensitive to um, the spelling of things and try to figure out how it should sound because... Goodness gracious, it can get, her name has been butchered our entire lives. And just because the spelling, because the different spelling of people don't know um, how to pronounce it. And you're gonna know who you are, but I'm not gonna say your name in case your neighbor ever happens to come across this. But she said they got some big wins and her pool spa cover, it ripped it even though it's strapped down, 
it ripped it right off and blew it into the neighbor's yard like Matt's building was in my backyard. And she said, of course, it went right into the creeper's yard. Right, why is that always the way? Why does it always go in the creeper's yard? Why can't it go into your good neighbor's yard? Why, why is that? Why is it always gotta go to the weirdo's yard? But it is every time. So that's what I told her, let me tell you, you'd be wanting to have a, some of your neighbors, you put on your full Kevlar burka to go over there and get stuff because, mm-hmm, not okay. I laugh though, but Kimmy James is the worst. I'll catch her over there. She'll ride her little four-wheeler over the fence line and she'll be looking. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm looking. I'm like, baby, you cannot be peeping through there. folks, oh, seeing what they're doing, but she does. So, <laughs> I don't know if she's gonna be a TMZ reporter or what, because she is nosy like James Williams and there. You're gonna hear me say he's nosy, say he's nosy. He's nosy, so I'll get out. He's like Gladys Kravitz all bewitched. He'd be looking out the window all the time, trying to figure out what's going on. So I am lucky at this house. I don't have any creeper neighbors, but we have had creeper neighbors before. So hallelujah that I don't have any here, but it is true. If something's gonna happen at your house, or it's always gonna be with the person you don't wanna deal with. Now, is that the universe trying to say you need to learn to deal with that person? I don't know, but universe, I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I don't want to universe, so you can go and send that message on to somebody else. It's like patience. I ain't asking for patience. I don't want to go what you got to go through to get patience. I don't need it, don't want it. Live this long without it. So there you go. Um, oh my gosh, Wendy Atlanta Stitcher, who makes my beautiful bags that she makes for me these. Um, I use the word tump and I use that word all the time. My family has always used that word and I have, of course, everybody has friends that are from other places. And the first time I said it to uh, my friend Buffy, and who's from New York, she said, what'd you say? I said, you know, tump it over, don't tump it over. And she said, I do not know what that word means. That's not a word. And I said, yes, it is a word. And she said, no, it's not. And I said, it is too, so you know, smart of me. I go and grab the dictionary, turning them pages. Well, somebody played a trick on my dictionary because Tump was out. Every dictionary, nobody has Tump in there. Of all the ridiculous, stupid words in this world that get stuck in the dictionary, and Tump is not a word. Don't stand up in the boat, you're gonna tump it over. Don't swing too high, you're gonna tump the swing set. Tump is a word. So, Wendy said she had the same argument with her husband who did not understand that tump was a word. Tump is a very good word. I can't help it. If I ever meet Webster, I'm gonna slap him for leaving it out of the dictionary because tump is a very good, very effective word. When I say to you, don't tump that over. It even, tump, tump, it makes perfect sense. So why that got left out, I don't know. Maybe just to get on my last nerve, works. That worked, well played, well played Webster. Um, Rebecca says she fills her pin pillows in a mixing bowl and then um, you can, so I didn't, I did not, um, let me grab this right here. I didn't do him yet, cause I'm gonna try him in the bowl today. But, so I'm gonna, and several of y'all said also too, and I saw so I probably have to do both. But she said to set it in a mixing bowl while you're filling it. Of course I did it this way, which I should have done it this way in retrospect, but you know, I was using scraps, so that works. Then you can fill it, um, which I don't guess it really matters. That's ridiculous of me to think I have to feel it that way. What's wrong with my brain? Hmm. Anyway, she said if you put it in a bowl and fill your walnut shells, then all the extra walnut shells go in a bowl, which I did have a lot of spillage, and then I just had to sweep it up. And then the rest of y'all tell me to fill it as tight as you can and then pack in a bunch of little um, fiber field type stuff, little, you know, fluffy in here. And, that'll, and then that'll keep it packed tight and then you can just wiggle it around and that'll keep it packed tight, tight. So I'm gonna try him this afternoon, but I wanted to show y'all how much he had settled because he was pretty tight whenever I stuffed him. But look, he's gone, I mean, he's dropped down this much. 
Yeah, don't blow your nose in here with your trumpet. You can't see me because I wasn't No, I can't see. So yeah, it has settled up a ton. So that's crazy. I was surprised how much it settled. So I'm gonna pack them in some more in a mixing bowl so I don't have the little walnut shells everywhere. And then um, pack in just a little bit of fiber feel up there at the top. So um, thank y'all all. Rebecca and several of y'all uh, sent in Faye. There were a lot of y'all that told me how to, uh, Miss Amy, uh, Amy, Miss Flossie, how to um, pack in the fiber feel at the top of that. There's a resident elephant in there blowing his sound. Lord have mercy. He's going in late to work this morning. So I think that is all of our questions. The only haul I have this week is I ordered these and I saw a, um, Liz and Deb talking about these things. These yo-yo makers, these clover yo-yo makers because I wanna make me a little yo-yo mat. And so you put your fabric in there and pop that in and then you so cut around it. But then I couldn't figure out how it, how it didn't get stuck in there because you're supposed to sew it. But then when you take this out, you can see through it that you go up and in, in and out, in and out, in and out at each one of these little holes. And then when you pull it out and cinch it up, you're not caught on this. So I thought that was pretty genius. And then they'll be round. And um, so I'm gonna try that. I thought that might be something that um, Mimi might like doing with me too. So we may try that today. I'll go get her in a little bit. I've got all her, um, she's leaving and going to the coast. Sister rented a house down on the coast. So they'll just be sequestered in there by themselves. It has a big private space and the whole the whole family's going, her and her kids and her grandkids and she can take Mimi with her. So the dogs, everybody's loading up going. So Mimi has lost weight and so her clothes are falling off. So I've ordered some clothes over there. So we gotta pick up Mimi and try on the rest of her clothes and get them washed and get them ready for her to go on her uh, trip today. So she's excited to go to the coast and um, hang out with sister and them. So that'll be a lot, a lot of fun for her. So. But yeah, so I'm hoping we like our little yo-yo makers and that um, I've bought her, I've started her some needlework things, but she gets, I don't know, kind of, I think it's too much, maybe too much. So maybe something like this that she can just pop in and stuff. So we'll see. But when she was here the other day, um, she didn't come on Tuesday because we flooded. I mean, it rained, rained, rained. And so she came on Wednesday and I said, Mom, do you want to watch a show or something while the girls were napping? And so I started um, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. And she was watching it and she liked it. Well, because of that, I guess she didn't nod off. She never did nod off and take a nap or anything. And, um, oh my God, I just realized I don't have this thing on shut up. Oh my God, I hope the phone doesn't ring. Ugh. Anyway, anywho, um, I, she didn't take a nap. So then later we're out in the pool and she keeps going to sleep. She's nodding off in her chair. And those little tiny savages were swimming around and they noticed that she's nodding off. I don't know what it is, but they are highly offended when Mimi goes to sleep. I don't know if she's supposed to be their private audience and she goes to sleep. They don't like it. <laughs> so every time she would nod off, one or the other of them would look over there and go, cock a doo 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 <laughs> I was like, y'all quit. Mimi needs to get her rest. And they were like, she should have taken a nap when we did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, y'all don't even know. Y'all do not know. They are something else. I don't know what else, but they are something else. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. I, so that was my only haul this week was um, my yo-yo maker. So that was the only thing that I I, have any, I need to order some, some stuff, but I haven't. I'm behind. Y'all see, I got the lid on my coffee to try to stave off any incidents. So we will jump right into whips. Um, we're gonna start off with the biggie, my health and peace. And I am so loving this guy. And I just realized that I'm not quite halfway I guess, yeah, because I've finished across up to here like. And so this weekend, I'll try to get this border done and the words here. 
out. So I'm going to sling that down there. And I turned it this way. Let's see if we can get it working better this week. Uh -uh. There we go. Can I get the whole thing in? All right. So this week I did, uh, and came down here, did these two flowers. And so I need to come across and hopefully do the words this weekend. So that'll be right across here. I'm loving stitching on this. Um, I gave up on the hoop again and they're stitching it in hand. It's a little floppy, but I'm just trying to manage because I get tired of fighting the hoop. The hoop and I just be at war all the time. But this is just the DMC conversion. Um, my Ellen, let me tilt, if I tilt this light back some, maybe that'll help. The Stitch Niche in Arlington has, they said two copies and they're getting some more. So if you're wanting to stitch, it's by My Lady's Needle. And it is gorgeous with all these motifs. And then it says, may health and peace attend your days. And there with the stags at the bottom. It's so, so pretty. And so I did, this is on the 28 count and I think it's a legacy linen. And I just did the DMC threads, the DMC thread pack that they had with it. So the colors, this cobalt blue, and I don't know if it's coming through as cobalt, but it is a beautiful cobalt blue on here. This is kind of a Delft blue here on the arms all up on this one. Um, and the moths have even a little like a tealy looking dots in their wings. It's so many little subtle things that I don't think pick up on the video well at all but it is beautiful uh gloria just knocked it out of the park on this thing it's a great stitch the linen is really nice it's uh it's soft and so for me i prefer to stitch in hand that does get that's a little trickier but um i can either fight the hoop some days when i feel like fighting the hoop or i just hold it in hand and i have to just you know roll it roll it roll it but that's okay because it's beautiful enough to make you say that's all right, it's worth it. I'm just loving stitching on this. So I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna be sad when it's over. It is just so, so pretty. Like I said, I hope some of those little subtle colors in there come through because these are just like a goldish, a pale gold. And um, then there's some kind of pale rust and everything and I'm hoping they all come through because the color options for this and I don't know about um there was a silk option also I didn't use the silk option and there were several uh linen options so if you call them I'm sure they can um they'll hook you up with whatever it was very reasonable very reasonably priced and they are uh super sweet I've been needing to call them for weeks and order some stuff and I just have not or shoot an email and haven't got it done that you will um, always be pleased when you deal with them because they are super, super nice. But that thing is just beautiful and I'm love, love, loving stitching on it. It's ginormous, but I'm loving it. Let's see who else we got here. Um, their song. Their song, I've got to try to turn that light on there and now I think that's gonna to be too much. Ugh. Ugh. Their song, maybe I have to stand up, by Blackbirds. I am loving stitching this guy too. He is on, um, I didn't have the, the right threads. Oh, and these are my threads for my health and peace. That may help you. I should have flashed those around. There. This one, I did not have the call fours for their song. So I just pulled some out of my stash here, which is in a big, Wadded up mess like always. But they were, they looked close enough for government work to me. And then he is, and I'm, I'm really close. Um, let's see if I can pick him up here. He's on 28 count April Brown Bendy. And we added the tree and the rest of the bird and the star. And this across the bottom, maybe. I'm not sure what all. But you can see here, there's the tree. So I have a couple of little motifs here. 
and then this bird and some motifs and finish off the tree. So he is really coming along. He is so pretty. The linen is really nice. See if I can tilt it so you can get some of the color. And it says, I should have told y'all this. I value my garden more for being full of blackbirds than of cherries and very frankly, give them fruit for their songs. So this has been just a joy to stitch. I'm gonna be super sad um, when this is over. Um, I don't know why I haven't stitched it years ago because I've had it sitting in there for years. But I have loved it. The colors are coming through right today. Let's do like that maybe. But it has been super fun. It is super, super pretty. It's their song by Blackbird Designs. I always forget to say who makes things, so sorry y'all. I'll try to I try to do better. And Gary tells me that he does not iron his, he just pulls them real tight. And so I'm gonna need Gary to um, I know you have a job and a life, but if you could go into plastic surgery, because if you can pull things that tight, brother, I got some stuff that needs some help, okay? So, because I tried real hard to get mine pulled tight like Gary's, and mine didn't work. So, Gary must have a gift. So, I want to need you to do a little sideline into plastic surgery so I can get some stuff pulled tight like that, especially, especially a neck. I need a new neck. Like, good Lord, have mercy. What is up with that? No, I don't need to breathe right now. Okay. My phone's trying to help me. Next we have, oh, Summer ABCs. And I should have taken it out of the plastic. By Little House. And it's a lot of really like pink and yellow, those kind of colors, which didn't suit me. And we don't have apples here in the summer. I don't know why. Um, there are some apple trees around here. They don't make a lot of fruit. My grandparents had one of those I'm trying to think what it was called where they had grafted like four trees into one so that they had four, you know, they got ready at different times. So that was pretty fun. I always thought when I was a kid, that was the neatest thing. So, um, but they don't, they don't get ready till like the fall. So I didn't do apples. I was going to do blooms on mine and I changed up the colors because y'all know I do more brights and more red and blues. So yeah, we'll have to know next time this this light situation isn't working good. Um, I did the blooms I changed out and flags. I left ice cream. I did limeade because we drink a lot of limeade down here. I left picnics. So I was just getting my letters in first and then I'll come back and just make up some flowers to go here. And instead of the quilt, I'll just make a flag go there. And um, what is the lighting situation in here? And I'll leave the ice cream and the lemonade stand will look the same, except mine will be limeade, it'll be green. And my picnic picture will be the same, but I tried to get a lot of the letters in first. And then I have, I just picked sunflower, barn door, gingerbread. Let's see who all else here, um, if I could read. What does that say? Mistletoe, hickory stick, bean sprout. Oh, I'm nearly there. Wagon wheel. And then Weeks, um, I think that's that's another Turkish red by Weeks, which I love. And then I've got Gassed Chalk and Gassed, is that Freedom? Freedom, yeah. That blue, that real pretty blue is Freedom. And that real pretty red is um, Turkish red. So I'm loving um, all those that I pulled for that. This fun green is bean sprout and it is so cute. It's really a good summery color to me. So I am loving stitching on this. I had a hard time putting this down, but I made myself put it down and work on some other things. And it's on, um, what is this? 28 count lamb's wool jobelin that I had in my stash. So and it's just on a scrap of foam cord stuck to the side so you can kind of see 
what's going on with it, but it's been oodles of fun to work on. It'll be even more fun this weekend when I get to um, work on the pictures and things. So that'll be, that'll be a hoot. Last, no, it shouldn't be last. What's going on here? Somebody that's got their colors looked out. That goes with him. The Patriotic House Trio. Um, this was um, a gift from Ann and Nikki, and I was I'm so excited to get it because it's so cute. I'm stitching them all in one piece. So thank you, Ann and Nikki. I'm stitching them all in one piece here in just one long row. So let me tilt that a little bit so it won't glare so bad. So I'm starting with America, and I didn't have the called for colors on the back. So I just pulled some myself here. And the house is used brick. That's what you're gonna see when I hold this up. So, um, and of course I've left my needle just kind of hanging here to the side. So, sorry y'all, y'all know how, y'all know how I do. So, here we go. And it, that used brick really does look like used brick. I love it. So I'm getting, build my house here, my first house, and um, do my doors and windows. And then I got my roof to go up here. And that center one has the word, um, has the big tall roof and then America up here. And then it's got a yellow house, a mustard house and a blue house. So it is so, so cute. Love, love, loving it. And yeah, the light is so weird today. Sorry y'all, y'all know my brain feels weird. And I didn't have the call for I just grabbed some here. So like this deep blue sea is a great house color. I love it. This one for the other house is I picked Amber Wave. I'm not sure it's going to be mustardy enough. I'm not sure it's going to be as mustardy as I want it to be, but we'll see. Maybe it will be. Um, for the red on this one, the true red, I've got ribbon red. So I've got blue corn, cauldron, chopped chives, forest glade, blue corn, Oh, and this Desert Mesquite, if you've never used this Desert Mesquite by Classic Color Works, look at that. Variegation in that, man, I love that. Uh, ribbon Red, Used Brick, Amber Waves, and just then the DMC White, it's the white I'm using for it. So I'm loving these fun colors. I'm loving that I got the little house. And then where is Old Glory? Old Glory is missing, I stitched on Old Glory this week. Well. Maybe Old Glory will turn up. If not, I'll have to show him next week. I don't know where Old Glory went because it's been really sweet to stitch on. Um, then we had my finish. So those were all my whips, except for Old Glory, which just got left behind somewhere. I must have set it down in the bedroom. Finish this week, which I did not FFO because I'm going to uh, film finishing it off, is Land of the Free by Little House, and it's the last one that'll go on the board, with my finger pointing the right way, right up there, that I showed last week. I'll finish it off and hang it on there, but I will uh, video FFO in it so y'all can see. I did change a few things around, because I'm a weirdo. Um, they had red, red, and red, and blue up here, but I wanted red, 1776, because my 2020 on the other one is red. Oh, this one, yeah, this is one of the giveaways. See, this one's done in red, so I did it in 2020 in red. So this one, you see, is in the opposite corner and they're hanging together. So I wanted it to be red down here instead of blue. So I just moved some things around a little bit, but it, this is one of those thread packs and it came with Manor Red, Blacksmith Blue, Weeping Willow, and Caterpillar. Or the, it only has four colors in it. Um, so if you're looking, some of these are good ones if you don't have a big uh, variegated, you know, big over dyed stash, big fancy floss stash. This is a good, these are some good ones like this that you can just get, buy a couple of colors and start building your collection like this. So these patterns, a little house, a country cottage. Um, there are several designers that do like this and I don't know if they do that on purpose to help you out, not have to spend so much. But this one turned out so pretty that um, that those roses are manor red. 
and I don't know if the variegation is showing up in them, but it and the leaves, it is fabulous. Those leaves are caterpillar. And it is so good in them. The brown too. The brown is really good. And then I just moved these guys up and then just backstitch 2020 in my initials and put a little thing between them. I just kind of centered it on the bottom. So he'll go up there at the bottom of that other board, but I'm gonna, I'll video FFO in this because um, several of y'all ask about using the glue, the Alain's glue instead of the sticky board. So I will um, video FFO in this guy here so y'all can see. And I don't know if Mikey can splice it in on the end later on or if it'll be a separate video. Um, I don't know after you post if you can add something. So she'll just have to tell us how that really works because I really don't know um, anything about that kind of stuff. <clears throat> but there are those beautiful colors that came with that. So I was super happy stitching along on that thing. Um, here's my other windy bag. Atlanta Stitcher, she's Atlanta Stitcher um, on Facebook. And I was, I've got my startings for my hedgerow sampler, the Wild Hedgerow Sampler by Jane Greenoff. So I'm gonna use my um, 28 count toast by Be Stitch Me. That fabric is so beautiful. Look at that. That's gonna be so pretty on there. And then this is the book it's out of. Now you can get the kit. Darley ordered the kit. It took a couple of weeks to get here. It was very reasonable um, offline and they will ship it from England. And she sent me pictures. Um, it came with a beautiful piece of linen, um, 28 count linen and Madeira threads and the colors on them. They look very shiny, very pretty. I've never used them. Um, I think they're a Spanish company but they look so nice. They look like really nice threads. So um, she'll be the first one using those because I've never used them. She'll have to let us know um, how they do. Now this book, I have the 30th edition, 30th anniversary edition. Um, several, two of y'all have messaged me saying that you had, you found just the one that's not the 30th anniversary edition, but it still has it in here. The Wild Hedron Sampler. So if you're looking to do it, it's still in here. And I'm gonna try to open it up and show these. Um, it has a brief history of samplers in here, and then it goes through, let me see how many there is. Okay, it has, let me see if I can figure out how to do it the easy way. I think this will be the first one. Is it gonna show it stitched? Okay, here. It has the Adam and Eve sampler, which, you know, you can't beat a good Adam and Eve sampler. If I tilt it up more, the light goes on the center, dang it. But it has that one in there, so it has a Adam and Eve in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep pulling it down so that it doesn't um, show the pattern. It has an English wildflower sampler. And y'all, the colors are not coming through today. I don't know what's up with my light and the lights. I guess because I turned a different direction, I don't have everything set just right. But that is the English Wildflower Sampler. It's in here. It has a lot of patterns in here. I mean, you're definitely getting your money's worth. Then it has the Wild Hedgerow, which is the one we're gonna, we're gonna sow. The Wild Hedgerow Sampler. And in the book, it even has a little thing to tell you how to kind of change it and make it look like your house. So if that's something you're interested in here is the wild hedgerow and then let's see who all else is in here there are so many oh this is beautiful fanciful flowers alphabet sampler i don't know if i hold it still for a minute and then i try to go in closer it is so pretty and it has a map sampler in here. Of course, it's a map of England, but you know, some of y'all are living in England and you know, there are Anglophiles here in America. So here's this beautiful English map. Look, look at that boat. I mean, these patterns are just really, really detailed pictures, but um, I know the wild hedgerow can be stitched on Ada. I tried to double check everything. It looks like um, 
it looks like nearly everything in there can be stitched on Ada. If not, I'm sure if we come across something, we could switch it. It has a darning sampler here with a gardenia in the center, which is super fun. I've um, never done, I've done black work, but I've never done one like that with the darning. Um, and then it has a spot motif one. So this one is bugs and beasts and it gives it laid out or you can just move things around or something. So it's got bugs and bees. So, um, it's every y'all that like bugs and little animals. I love all the little animals, the bugs. Um, yeah, not so much, but that's okay. It's so pretty. There are so many in here. I'm not even kidding. Um, it has a big write up on um, red samplers and um, the Bristol Orphanage samplers. It has a write up in here on the Bristol Orphanage samplers. And I think that's the one that it has the pattern for, yes. So it has this Bristol Orphanage sampler in it here. So you even get a write-up about uh, red work samplers and a write-up about the write-up about Bristol Orphanage samplers. You get an italic alphabet sampler there on that pillow. Is that too much red? Which that pillow is beautiful with that flat around the edge. And um, you get this one is Berlin. It's wool work. If I'm not mistaken. Look at those swallows. Those swallows and those violets are just beautiful. So that's in here. I mean, y'all, this thing is chock full of stuff. It has Quaker school samplers in here, which is another one on my list to do this year. Um, this one is in here. So all that funness. It has, oh, it does have a band sampler in it. And it even has some pulled thread and things in this one, which you could do or not do. So it's called Floral Garden Band Sampler. So it has this long band sampler in it. And y'all, I am really sorry for the light today. I don't know what's up and the weird focusing. But I guess I changed angles and now I've messed my, my lighting situation all up here. And that may, is that everybody? Oh no, it has a little sampler box that you can make. And it has all these little goo-gaws and so it has, you make the box here and then it has a biscornu and the lid and then it flops down and has all this on the inside and the directions. The directions are really good on um, how to do it. It is really, a, the book's well-written. It's very detailed. The charts are really clear. Um, and then it has a technique section. So if you're just starting, it has the techniques about how to start, how to stop, how to, all these things. And it has a, um, maybe it has a sampler book in it. Nor is it just a story about the sampler book. And then it has a story about the sampler book, I guess. But it even talks about finishing off. It has sections for finishing off, for doing um, pulled thread work. I mean, it has a lot. This is this book is a very good buy. If you're looking for something to buy um, and get your money's worth, this is a really good book. And um, if you decide you want to join the sale, um, holler, and we'll get um, we'll probably be doing that um, in the next week or so, maybe two or three weeks. But of course, you can join at any time. You don't have to start when we start um, <clears throat> to get it done. And then we have shares, my shares from last week. So we had three shares last week. Let's see, and then we'll have one this week because I finished that one. So last week, because of it was on July 3rd, we had three shares. So the first one was um, Welcome Summer by The Drawn Thread. And I finished mine on the toolbox here. And I just change out the seasons I've done uh, spring before this and I've done summer and I'll do winter and fall and just keep switching them out because I move my little toolbox around but I love having it out where I can see it and it's not um, glued on or anything let me show that um, you can see 
see. It's not glued on. I just have it stuck in there with some hemp on some little pins. So it's probably got crooked now. So there is nothing permanently um, changing the box at all. So I can use those anywhere from now on, and I can use my box anywhere from now on. They're not tied together. So the welcome summer, the magic word was watermelon, and Allison said a lot of people will make up cool sentences, but she is a simple person and she loves watermelon. So Allison Martin, you simply won the Drawn Thread Welcome Summer. Yeah, you're the recipient of that share. And Home of the Brave. Here we go, Home of the Brave. Um, Carolyn F. by Little House, and it um, has, it's one of the ones that just has four colors in here. Uh, Carolyn F., you are the recipient of it, and she said she'd just be staying home on the 4th of July so she can stitch Home of the Brave in honor of staying home on the 4th. And then Be Brave by Shepherd's Bush. And a lot of y'all ask about working on Ada. It's right, grab it. It's right here on Ada. It's just on a piece of gray Ada that I had, and it's done all the MC. So, and then it's just finished off on the back like that. So this is it on Ada. So if you work on Ada, Shepherd's Fish patterns are fine. It's not gonna be a problem. Be Brave, Meg Duffy. Oh my gosh, she had me giggling because I said I was finding sequins everywhere from Mimi accidentally hit them with her hand when she tripped and scared me to death because I thought she was gonna fall down. And I was still finding sequins all over like I did Shadow Ray's witch hair that year, that witch wig I found for years out in the yard. I'd be raking leaves and there'd be more rich hair. And she said her mom made her a prom dress with all these beautiful sequins all over it. She said, here again, they found those things for years and years and years. And even after they moved to a different house, they would still find those sequins and things. Sequins are something else. They go everywhere. So those are our shares this week um, from last week. This week, it'll be Land of the Free, you want to wave at everybody before you leave? No, he doesn't want to wave, okay. Land of the Free by Little House will be the share this week. And just use the word free, something about free. Tell me sometime when you got something free or if you like getting free things or if you like being free or whatever. Just use the word free so that it'll pick you up. So that'll be the share this week is Land of the Free by Little House Needleworks. And I think that, boy, we're long today, but I think that wraps everything up. I will get this posted and y'all enjoy your stitching. And I'll see you next week. Bye.